I was ordering some stuff online for my local hobby shop and then I accidentally did a typo when searching up the name of a vehicle and this is what it came up with. Tamiya 1 to 35 scale AAV P7A1. I, I had already seen this vehicle on a video showing how a well deck dash weather deck works and I thought it was really cool. So I cleared my list of models to get and I got all the paints I needed for, the, for this kit and bought it. When it came to my house I was stoked to see how big the box was and I thought to myself I had a mammoth of a task ahead. The assembly of this kit was pretty straightforward as I did the road wheels first, glued them to the bottom hole, added details on the top hole section. One thing that I thought was pretty interesting was that Tammy provided a little metal pole to add to the idler wheels to counter the tension of the rubber tracks it comes with. Overall, the assembly was good and there were quite a bit of moving parts, such as this hatch. This hatch moves, but I glued it shut. This hatch can probably move, but I glued it shut. Turret moves. This pops up to protect the crew and the hatches are open. Well, to protect them from the water, counter the waves. These can be left open, this can be left down, but you will see the metal pole that um, counters the tension of the tracks. And yeah, the ramp can be lowered and the door can be left open. Tammy is a generous brand, but not as generous as Academy. They gave you two turrets. One, which is the older version of the turret that only fired 50 cal rounds, and the other was the newer version of the turret, which has a 50 cal gun, but it also has a 40 millimeter grenade launcher. You can also see the design. If a shell hits it, it can just keep on boom. A bit like an M1A1 Abrams turret or an M1A2. They also gave a cable, which I assume is a towing cable, some stowage and some people, which I messed up really bad because I used the wrong paints. And I'm not going to show you them because it's that bad. In the future, I would like to make some cool, a cool diorama with this landing on a beach with some epoxy resin as water and sand being natural sand. I think that it will look really cool with some marines also running alongside or lying down on the beach shooting their weapons. The kit had two schemes. One was a full de desert scheme, which was probably used in Desert Storm, and the other was a US Far East area, which is where Australia is and most Asian countries are. Since I, since I just, since I just like the look of a and challenge of a three tone camouflage, and no one else does them really, I decided to do the three tone. The only bad things were the massive holes on the side of the vehicle and yeah that was terrible that was probably from the injection mold just how they make the plastic thank you for listening i hope you learned something new goodbye